Welcome to Classic Game Room. For years I've complained about not having a Sega Saturn racing wheel in the intergalactic space arcade, but thanks to our friend Felicity from England, we now have the Sega Saturn racing wheel here at the intergalactic space arcade. Let's find out how it works. The short answer is pretty damn well. As you can see, this makes Hang On GP95 a game that's actually playable. That bike was really hard to control with the gamepad. Here's a close-up look at the Sega Saturn steering wheel, which says Sega Saturn right on the front of it, just in case you try to plug this into your Dreamcast. It won't work. It's for the Saturn. As you can see, the buttons are nicely and comfortably laid out across the top of the wheel. And you'll need them for driving games because it does not have pedals. It also has a pedal shifter which can act as the up or down D-pad when navigating menus. There's no horn, but the design of the wheel is attractive and it looks like an F1 race car wheel. After all, the Saturn is a high performance machine. Here's a close up look at the plug which is like any other Sega Saturn accessory. No power cord required, plug and play, grab your favorite Sega racing game and enjoy the experience. You'll quickly learn that titles like F1 Challenge were never intended to be played with the Sega Saturn gamepad at all. You really need a racing wheel to play this one. It was just way too touchy with the gamepad and suffered from constant oversteer. Now it actually makes sense, although it doesn't prevent me from crashing into other drivers. I mean, frankly, they deserved it anyway. It's so nice to have actual controls for this game because I thought F1 Challenge had so much more potential, which has been unlocked thanks to the Sega Saturn racing wheel. But wait, there's more. There's other games that benefit from the wheel as well, which are waiting just off camera, but I'm enjoying F1 Challenge so much it's hard to stop playing it. Notice I have the wheel sitting on top of a bar height table which works pretty well for this thing. It has some suction cups underneath that prevent it from sliding around the surface. Although I'm not sure how well it would work on a coffee table. Let's take a look at the hyper awesome Daytona USA Circuit Edition, which even has the wheel in the menus. Righteous. It's a definite improvement and gives more of the driving feel, but not as much as it was in F1 Challenge. That game really needed the wheel. However, the game that most greatly benefits from the Sega Saturn wheel is, without a doubt, Hang On GP95, a racing game that was essentially unplayable with the Saturn gamepad. You need the wheel to play this game. The gamepad was just way too sensitive. And turning was all or nothing. Now with the racing wheel, you can actually lean into turns. And you don't have to lean in all the way. It's great. I mean, look, there's even a picture of this thing in the instruction manual. Although I'm not sure what any of that stuff says. It probably says, don't try to play this game without the Saturn racing wheel. And that would be accurate. Don't try to play this game without the Saturn racing wheel. It's just not that much fun. But with the wheel, it is. Annoyingly, this thing doesn't fit onto the play seat, though. Which means that play seat is now required to design a seat and setup for the Saturn racing wheel. With a nicely embroidered Saturn logo in the seat and a cup holder to make sure every game has the appropriate cocktail view. Now I don't believe this works with every Saturn racing game, but it worked with all of the ones I tested it on. If you feel like you're playing a game that has controls which are way too touchy, check the internet and see if it supports the wheel. If it does, buy the wheel but it definitely doesn't improve the controls on every game. It should be a required accessory for F1 Challenge Hang On 95 and Daytona USA. A giant classic game room thank you to our friend Felicity 
in Worcestershire, England for sending this to the show. And an equally giant Classic Game Room thank you to our friends Mohammed from Qatar, Sergio Mateus in Brazil, and Frank from California for sending all of these awesome racing games. I like the wheel. I like that it doesn't need pedals to play. That's, that's not always the ideal setup unless you have something like a play seat. It's not a force feedback wheel, but it just feels right for driving games on the Saturn. Highly, highly recommended. <laughs> 